you can do it. What's up, Money Geeks, Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. In today's video, I wanna show you guys how you can set up to eliminate debt in 2020. And you can do this whole setup in just seven days. I'm gonna walk you through steps that you can use to set up as you start your debt-free journey. So 2020 is here, everybody's super excited. Again, people are looking at setting all these goals, but I want you to take an actionable goal. So I'm not just gonna tell you to go do stuff, but I'm gonna show you how you're supposed to do it, which is the difference. So this video is gonna be a little bit longer because we're talking about practical steps here. We're gonna walk through them every single step of the way. So there's seven days set up that we're gonna go. So I'll show you what you're gonna do day one, day two, through day seven. And by the end of day seven, you should have your full setup ready to go and it's just be up to you to start executing. Um, again, setting up is one thing, executing is another. So I'm counting on you that once we go through this process and set this up, you're gonna follow through like you said you're gonna do with your new year resolution i remember you saying you wanted to be debt free so you're gonna follow through and execute this game plan it's a step-by-step -step process it's, it's a course that's gonna help you go through and by the time you're done like i said you are ready to just start executing um, a lot of people fail through the debt-free journey because they don't really have an actionable plan all they have in the back of their mind is i want to be debt free but they don't really think about the intricacies or how things should work. So I took the liberty and put this seven day process for you. So um, if you wanna do it every single day of the week, say Monday through Sunday and get it set up, it's totally up to you. If you wanna take maybe every other day, but make sure that every day that you say you're gonna do something on the list of seven days, you do that stuff, you get it taken care of. So again, this is gonna be a long video, so guess what? Let's jump into it. All right, so here we go, guys. Um, this is just kind of your setup to eliminate debt. And so most importantly is, like I said, is for you to follow through with this. So and you, in this setup, it, it takes uh, seven days if for individuals or if you have a, um, a, a partner, if you're in a relationship or you're married, um, so it takes two people. And so it's going to take a little bit of conversation in between. So if you want to skip days and talk to your partner or you know your spouse about uh, some of the things before you guys can get back in, in, on track with you no know, setting up that would be great so, so let's let's jump let's, let's jump right in so day one uh, the first step in, in the process is for you to understand the why why do you want to be debt free why are you looking to be uh, uh, to have financial freedom so uh, the, the things I want you to consider here for the most part is just understand your your goals um so most importantly grab a notebook um and sit down or a journal or something and sit down and write you know uh your key categories that are important to you so when i say um just writing you know the categories that are important to you is like hey uh, financial um adventure um material things you know um intellectual so going back to school legacy what do you want people to rem uh, remember you as or about um for what do you want to leave behind for your kids so i want you to kind of understand those things as you get started so um first again like i said uh, they want just understand the purpose of why you are looking to eliminate debt what's so important to you that you want to eliminate debt so that should be um, at the back of your mind so find a quiet place um, for individuals to sit there or for couples sit there and I want you to be very very realistic I don't want you to write down things that um, at the end of the day uh, you're not going to be able to follow through think about the, the things that are really important in your life and write them down um, again I have the full PDF so at the end of the session um, if you want to download it I'll put the link in the description uh, um, uh, below so you can definitely go in and download it so be realistic with yourself um, and write down just key areas where you think you want to um, make changes or you think that are important to you all right so let's jump to day two so 
now that you've set up your your you know your why you understand why you want to be debt free or you guys understand in, in the case of a couple you guys understand why you want to be debt free the next thing is to prioritize your goals um, you've written down a bunch of things right um, some of the things have um, really really uh, important meanings to you others are like oh those are nice to have uh, so you want to prioritize them so that way uh, you're working on the most important things. I don't want you to prioritize stuff and go work on some things that maybe uh, you don't need them 5, 10, 15, 20 years, but there's some important things that you need right now that you don't have it. So once um, you, you create your priority list, um, it, it could be you as an individual creating that or you as a spouse and take um, into account how that impacts your, your spouse. So you have your priorities your spouse might have some different priorities. So you guys need to sit down and, and talk about it. And then uh, the best way to go about it is to create what I'll call your dream board. Um, so you can create an individual dream board and then compare it if, you're, if, you, if you have a spouse. So you go in your, your way, create your, your dream board, your spouse create the dream board, and you guys get together and kind of compare notes per se. Look at each other. Uh, dream board and just make sure that you know the, the things that are common between them um, have the same level of priorities if not you guys should definitely talk about it so uh, you can use uh, uh, pictures just to kind of give you that visual that's an effective way um, so it kind of brings the emotional side of um, the things that matter to you as, as long as you're doing your priorities so creating a dream board is a very uh, powerful and fun process so what you do is again you get like a large piece of paper or poster that's how you go about creating your dream board or just uh, just uh, uh, if you have a, a clean wall in your house that you're not using you can definitely use that so gather stuff like magazines and images of your dream vacation destination or adventure do you want to climb Mount Everest you know you want to go um, to Australia or to New Zealand for vacation or something like that so you, you grab the images um, and then you know, get uh, you know a, a glue or maybe staple if you have a board but on your wall I don't want you to staple. So grab glue or some stickers or, or tape and then perfectly glue or tape those pictures to the wall so that you can see them. Put them in a place where you can actually see them. So um, and, and again this is how you would go about setting up your 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 dream board and this it's supposed to be for you and your spouse not just you if you if you are in a relationship but if it's just an individual then this is all about you so that is um, prioritizing and creating your dream board um, again guys I have the detailed notes that will I can you can actually uh, download on my website um, I'll put the, the, the link in the description below for you for you guys so uh, that takes us to you know day three numbers and this is the part where most people usually jump into when they're setting up their debt elimination strategy they just jump into the numbers um, the first two days notice that we didn't talk about um, money or how much you spent your expenses are no we we didn't touch any of those our, our focus was for you to just understand the why and then just kind of prioritize things that matter to you at that point we haven't put any expenses yet so now day three let's start looking at numbers so um, what I want you to do is make a list of all your debt so from or you know some $20 that you owe a co-worker for lunch that they bought you to uh, your mortgage so everything that you owe somebody, I don't care if it's $5, write it down, make a list of all your debt. Um, and then uh, we organize them from the smallest to the largest. Again, like I said, if you owe a co-worker $5 for lunch, um, that would be at the very top down to your mortgage, which I think that's the, m the largest expense that most people have, um, especially here in the United States, um, to, you know, you put that at the very bottom, then all the other things that come in between. I want you to list those down and really have that number uh, and organize them in that way. Next to it, I want you to kind of just uh, write a note uh, of the minimum payments and due date. So when you take your, you take all the debt that you owe, uh, how much minimum payments are you supposed to, to pay for that debt and what's the due date? You write that down so you have a visual of, of how, it, when and 
uh, you're supposed to be making payments and you, s you you can really stay on top of it um don't forget um the money you borrow from friends too so if you borrow money from friends and family please don't forget that make sure that's included um in this list of um all your debt so now this is just exciting talk about numbers right you owe money this is how much you owe uh, this is the minimum amount of payments you make and this is the due date for that that money so um, that would take us now to our very next step again, which is um, the B word. Um, and the B word here doesn't stand for um, the B that we most people talk about in rap music and all that stuff. But that's not the B word we're talking about here. The B word here is budget. Um, so I want you now to start thinking about, if you don't already have, um, to create a realistic budget. So include necessities um, I want you to include obligations uh, I want you to include kind of less than monthly expenses um, you know a few nice to have items I want you to include everything or you know everything that you spent money on or the things that you plan on spending money on I want you to include them in your in your budget so the, the first step in developing your budget um, actually is to determine your total monthly household income um, uh, after taxes right so if you understand how much you bring in after taxes, that is the first step. Your income now, you know, in, in some cases may vary each month. So if you work um, as a contractor or you are a self-employee and you do, uh, you know, contract work, that might, might, might differ, right? But I want you to take like the, the minimum average of, 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 of that income. That would be realistic. So don't take the max, take like the minimum you expect to bring home so just use the very very conservative number in this case even if you bring extra in that's better than if you over if you don't um, estimate properly now I want you to take the next step of you know just determine um, your, 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 your spending so how do you spend that money each month you know and I want you to separate your expenses into in, into four major categories right um, and this is this is something that a lot of people don't really talk about and uh, this is unique so um, the first category what I'll call is your level one expenses um, these are expenses like your your house um, your groceries your utility bill your gas bill your, your internet the things that keep you afloat that keeps you moving so those will be your level one expenses the second will be your level two expenses in this case uh, it would be kind of like your monthly uh, uh, commitments like you have a car that you have to make a payment your credit card um, you have loans that you have to make payment on those are your level two expenses so again level one is your necessities and level two are the things that um, kind of make life a, a little bit simple for you um, and then the next level of expenses I want you to break up is your level three expenses um, and these are these are expenses that are include something like car repair like your clothing um, insurance um, all fall under this kind of uh, uh, you know expenses level three so if you have like Christmas money you start putting those those all that stuff would fall under level three and then finally your level four expenses uh, which are kind of nice to have uh, but not necessary not necess uh, uh, necessary for you to, to survive like if you go out to eat a restaurant you treat yourself to a nice latte um, at a coffee shop or you go out for beer with some friends uh, take a vacation or just uh, no, a trip to the movies and stuff like that so this is some of the uh, level four expenses that you would kind of um, incur so uh, once you break down your expenses uh, into those different categories now that's the point where you can start looking at okay where are my bleeding money what are my money drains and that would take us to um, day five in this case now uh, on day five that's where you start your planning right so uh, I want you to start building up a plan so make a plan to pay off your debt in either let's say you want to pay it off in 12 months or, or, or you want to pay it off in 18 months or you want to pay it in 24 months in 36 months but definitely make up a plan so divide your total from day three uh, above that we talked about so day three which is you um, having all your debt um, that's what you bring in so um, at this point, day five, I want you to divide day three, which is your total debt, by let's say um, uh, twelve, which is uh, the number of months in a year, in, in a year, to determine how much you need to allocate to debt each month to be debt free. Does that make sense? So you take all your total expenses 
you divide them by your total debt excuse me you take all your total debt you divide them by 12 and that will tell you how much you have to uh, allocate to to debt to pay off that debt let's say in 12 months so that's a nice exercise that you can actually do uh, to figure out um, if it seems too hard divide it by 18 so let's say you've divided by 12 it's like man I can't really do this uh, this is so hard for me um, okay so next step is you divide it by 18 um, so it would be in 18 months and if 18 still is not doable try going by 24 and just figure it out to see if it's easy for you that way um, and then you can actually see uh, what works so that is creating a plan um, and then next step here is day six I want you to get moving <laughs> and by get moving is I want you to start doing some sort of exercise um, you know go for a walk and just kind of clear your brain um, exercise is a great antidote for stress so if you're stressed out about that start you know going out exercising um, a cheaper way would be walk around the lakes like here in the Midwest we have a ton of lakes so you go for walks around the lakes um, and for some people you know or you could go for a jog or whatever it works better for you but just get moving make yourself comfortable um, because like like I said um, exercise is really really something that would help you eliminate a ton of stress and, and finally day seven this is when I want you to kind of take a step back and relax um, relax means like hey yes you you've, you've set up this whole process to pay off your debt um, you're starting to move you're starting to exercise now that means you have to relax and by relaxing means you probably have to go to bed early um, so start going to bed maybe 20 minutes earlier than you used to do and see if you get enough sleep to reduce stress if that doesn't work go maybe 30 start going to bed 30 minutes earlier than before and see if you're getting enough sleep do that until you figure out that you have enough sleep that uh, you know makes you feel comfortable and, and remember if we are stressed out it impacts your entire life so that's something that you want to make sure that you don't have it again just a quick recap here um, so we're talking about um, day one I want you to understand the why day two I want you to prioritize day three start the numbers accum just you now kind of uh, cumulative amount of debt that you have day four create a budget the B word day five start planning and, 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 and doing your math and you know taking the, um, the amount of debt you have divided by the number of months to, sh to see how much you have to make uh, payments every month to eliminate your debt um, day six I want you to get moving exercise better and day seven I want you to relax go to bed early eliminate stress in your life so there you go guys that is um, a boot camp I mean I know it was a really long video but trust me if you follow the steps as we've gone through and execute like you say you were gonna do you are ready to start tackling debt um, the number one thing is first to change your mindset that I want to be debt free uh, build that mentality like hey whatever it takes that's what I'm gonna do to be debt free and go with that process and I hope this was really useful again I apologize for this long video there's no way I could really cram this kind of information in a really short video I could have done it but it would do you no service if I like took out some of the information you really have to go through every single step so again if you know somebody that's gonna benefit for something from something like this or if you're debt free or you know people that might benefit from it please share the video with uh, folks that are studying their debt free journey so this can definitely be a really good tool for them to to get started and again um, you know I, I enjoy you sharing the video because that's how we help get the word out and grow the channel I so I really I really do appreciate you doing that for us finally if you want to download the PDF that I showed you today um, that we walked through the seven day um, uh, no debt free elimination guide if you want to download that so you can follow that um, at your own pace uh, you know or you can share with somebody in your family I'm gonna put a link in the description below just click on that link it's gonna take you to to our website and just put in your email address and that should be in your inbox um, the very next minute so um, you can download it and share with people that would benefit from it as well so um, I, I hope again this was really informative to you um, give me that thumbs up if you really think this was good information like share subscribe and as always stay motivated